Hey guys, Jill here for Premiere Basics, a weekly series where I teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. And today we're going back to the old days because we're going to create a retro title animation in Premiere Pro. Now let's jump right into Premiere and get started. First, we're going to make our title, so hit the text tool from the toolbar or T on your keyboard. Now type whatever you want. I'm going for Retro. Then go to the Windows menu and open up the Essential Graphics panel. Now adjust the font size, font type and alignment to your likings. Now I do recommend to align the title to the center though. Okay, next disable the fill and add a stroke. And this can be either color you want. I'm going for a kind of red or pink color. Now adjust the stroke thickness to whatever you like, but don't make it too thin. Now we're going to animate the text. We can do that from the effect controls panel. Now set a keyframe for the position, scale and rotation properties. Now you can do this by clicking on the stopwatch icon. Now since our text is already positioned in its end position, we can select all of these keyframes and drag them to the right. Now we're making sure that we're somewhere in the beginning of the clip and we're going to make the animation so that the text appears on screen. So change the rotation to 90 degrees, scale up the text and reposition it. When we now play the animation, it will look a bit like this. It's not good yet, but we're going to select all of the beginning keyframes, right click and select ease out. Then we're selecting all of the end keyframes and select ease in. This will make the animation go way smoother already. But we're going to play around with the timing a bit as well. Open the drop downs of the scale and rotation animation and play around with it until it looks like this. A smooth curve that goes faster in the beginning and slower near the end. Hold up, quick intermezzo, I quickly want to talk about our classes. If you go to premierbasics.net, you will find our amazing highly rated classes and they are available on Skillshare as well, where they are actually hosted. Now I recommend watching either our Premiere Pro or After Effects class if you want to become a great editor. And since we're making motion graphics today, have a look at our amazing motion graphics templates class in Adobe After Effects. Now we teach you how to create a template, work with expressions, design a lower third, make advanced animations, create color controllers, we teach you how to handle text fields, link objects together and so much more. Now if you're eager to learn all of that then check out the first link in the description down below. First month of your subscription is completely for free so definitely worth it. Anyway, back to the tutorial now. Next we're going to the effects panel and look for the echo effect. Now this effect is used to make a repetitive echo effect of either a clip or a text animation. Now animate the number of echoes going from 5 in the beginning to 0 at the end. But you can set the ending keyframe a bit further than the other end keyframes so that the animation takes a bit longer. Also set the echo timing to your likings. The higher the number, the longer it will take the echoes to appear. Next, we're going to duplicate the clip in our timeline by holding Alt while dragging. Then we move to the effects panel again and look for the Gaussian blur effect. Drag it to the bottom clip. Then set the blurriness to around 150. And this will create a bit of glow around our title. Next, we're going to make a new title and give it the same text. But this time, we're going to give it a cool color. So select the fill checkbox and click on the colored box. Then from the color picker, go to the top drop down menu and select linear gradient. On the left side, select the bottom arrow and make it a color of your likings. I'm going for a pinkish purple. On the right, I'm selecting a blue color. Then I'm going to click in the middle and add a third color, which is going to be darker blue, purple or black, which creates a nice looking gradient. Then change the color of the stroke to white or light blue, as long as it is something nice and bright as a color. Now place the new title below the previous titles, but slightly at the end. Now, why would we do that? Well, we're going to make a transition between these two styles. So first, select the upper two layers and nest them together by right clicking and selecting Nest. Then from the effects panel, look for the crop effect and place it on the nested layer. Now move to the point where the layer underneath starts and set a keyframe for the top property. Then move a bit further in time and set it to 100%. Then set the edge feather to around 100 as well. This makes the edges less sharp. Next, look for the crop effect again and place it on the bottom layer. Then animate your right value from 100% to 0. And once again, set an edge feather of around 100. Now play it through and it will look like this. 
Now select both layers and nest them together. We can now look on the internet for a nice retro background like this one from Storyblocks. Place it behind our title animation and we've got something like this. And it's already looking super nice but you can always spice it up by going into the second nest, duplicate the bottom layer and place the VR glow effect on the bottom text layer. Now adjust the settings to your likings and now we've got a cool and simple retro title animation with a little bit of glow. And that's it for today. If you like this video, then make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys next week for a new tutorial. And as always, stay creative.